everyone for those of you who have joined me because you saw that chanel video that you know the price increase video a couple of days ago thank you so much for joining me now and for anyone who doesn't know what i'm talking about i'm going to link to that video below that video in a nutshell is about the coronavirus price increases that chanel have kind of put out in the last week two weeks anyway i've got some more information on that since doing that video but i'm going to talk to you about the louis vuitton price increase because this happened on the 5th of may slightly before chanel and their prices haven't gone up as much as 25 percent but in some instances they're kind of roughly between 15 and 20 percent and i've got some prices that i'm going to share with you here the price to be honest there's price information um, across the internet to do with what things have gone from and to because unless you're someone who keeps track of every single bag and how much it was and then how much it's moved to it's really hard to get that information um, what I've got here is from a really good website called purse blog I'm going to link to that article below but also there's a whole load of stuff online if you want to kind of dig deeper into this I only knew about the Louis Vuitton price increase because I had a number of you in the comments several weeks ago under a video saying, have you seen what Louis Vuitton have done and what Chanel have done and what do you think about it? I, when I read your messages, I think I said it in that, in that Chanel video, when I uh, read what you were saying to me, I, it's not that I didn't believe you, I did. I just, um, I saw the comments and I thought, really, would they really do that? Because we're in coronavirus kind of times and there's so much stuff going on why would they do that now and then it was only when I kind of like looked more into it that I was like oh god like I personally feel really strongly that there is a bigger reason behind this than what we're all assuming and I thought the same thing with Chanel with Louis Vuitton I'm like there's got to be a bigger reason why these brands are doing it and since I did that Chanel video so two days ago Chanel uh gave a statement to Reuters about this because Reuters and I think Business Insider were asking them a question of like, why have you done it now? Why is it so such a big step? And here is what they had to say. Um, and this is just kind of a clip taken from a longer statement, which I'll link to below. But essentially, um, Chanel and some other brands are claiming that this the price increase is to do with exchange rate fluctuations which they normally do anyway these brands normally have about two price adjustments each year and pretty much everyone's familiar with that but it's just this one the timing of it and why why is it su such a large uh, jump um so they're saying it's kind of exchange rate fluctuations but they're actually saying it's to do with the cost of the raw materials having gone up because of the pandemic. So they're kind of suggesting here, well, they are suggesting that the pandemic has made their prices go up and they're having to pass them on. That's understandable. I can understand that. And also a lot of the factories that make these items have had to be closed down for the last two months. Staff in stores will have been furloughed, I guess, to some degree, and they need to recoup the money back. The only the only thing I think is in business, when prices go up, they never go back down again. That's just the way things are. So they've put the prices up to this, let's say because they're trying to recoup some money from the pandemic. But those prices are never gonna go back down again. And some of the prices that those bags have risen to is beyond anything that certainly I would be happy paying for. And I don't want to go and say that and then in like six months time I go and buy a bag. But um, they, they are at a point where I don't think the quality is good enough for them. And the same thing is going for Louis Vuitton. So Louis Vuitton, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of their items have gone up in price. Now Louis Vuitton's price increases are smaller than, than what Chanel have done but it's still the wrong time for it. And I still question, why have you done it now? I, um, interestingly, at the same time, Louis Vuitton, Tiffany & Co and Bulgari have also, so the other two brands that have also hiked their prices up. And according to Reuters, they've actually done it specifically in South Korea. How many of you saw weeks ago now, there was an Hermes boutique that reopened somewhere in china i can't remember the details it reopened there were queues around the corner they made record sales that day 
critics are claiming, so you've got these brands going, well, the cost of everything's gone up, so like we need to put our prices up. But actually, a lot of critics are claiming, yeah, there might be an element of that, but this might also be you guys trying to recoup the losses that you've lost over the last few months by putting up the prices and expecting what happened with Hermes in China to happen in your boutiques across Europe when lockdown started to ease. And in fact, I'm gonna try and put your message in here. One of you wrote to me and you said there were queues in your area for people queuing to get into Chanel boutiques because they come out of lockdown and you've got people that are like into this kind of thing from a maybe from a work perspective they're they're safe and they're not worried from an, an economic point of view and they're straight go like they're straight there trying to get their luxury fix i do have to agree that i think that these hikes are potentially aimed at those who are expected to spend more lavishly after lockdown i think it's kind of um the brand's way of very quickly recouping what money they might have lost through the lockdown period. Now the prices that a lot of the Louis Vuitton pieces have jumped up to, there was, what was the name of the bag? I'm not really up to scratch with Louis Vuitton because I used to love their stuff years ago, probably about 10 years ago. But then I found that their quality went a bit downhill. So, um, things like stitching but also things like uh the gold hardware kind of it scratching really quite easily the gold rubbing off a bit on the corners and it just kind of put me off the brand and also i think from a personal point of view i grew away from liking the classic monogram canvas print and i i preferred some of the other leathers and i ended up buying uh a my lock me bag i think that's what it's called last year which i love but it's quite flimsy actually, the way it's been constructed. It's quite, um, the leather on it's quite kind of floppy and the hardware on it's scratched quite badly and I haven't really used that bag. Um, and, and so I love the style of it, it's just that from a quality point of view when you're paying that sort of money, I, I don't really, I'm, I'm not kind of in love with it. There are, I really do like the luggage items from Louis Vuitton and I've said before that just because I don't love the quality, that doesn't mean there aren't bags that catch my eye because there are. Um, there have been a couple of bags over the last few months that I've looked at and I've wanted to potentially buy, but then when I just think about quality, it puts me off. And that's just my opinion. There might be a lot of you watching who are like, actually, I find their quality really good. What are you talking about? That's just kind of my opinion on it. So I do wonder, these brands that keep putting their prices up but they're not focusing any attention on quality, how far is it gonna get? Where are we gonna get to with this? Here's the thing that I'm dreading. Chanel and Louis Vuitton and Bulgari and Tiffany and Co, they've all put their prices up, okay? And it's gone down really badly with, with those of us that are into it. And, I, and, I, and the reason why it's gone down so badly is it's, it's a distasteful time to do it. You can't deny it, it's a distasteful time. Irrelevant of, of what the percentages are, irrelevant of, the, of, of anything really, it's just the timing of it that's so, so misjudged. I am worried that the other brands are also gonna be putting prices up, but maybe they've seen the reaction that's happened to Chanel, Louis Vuitton, etc., and they're like, ooh, maybe we should like hang on a bit until lockdown has been eased a lot more in different continents and then do it. So I'm already thinking about Dior because you know I really like Dior um, and I'm already thinking, I really hope their prices don't go up as much as 20 or 25% because that really is quite a big jump. Um, so I actually think for any of you watching, if there are items from brands that haven't just recently put their prices up, if you know at some point you're going to buy them but you've been putting it off because of whatever reason, if you're in a position to do so, I think that it's probably worth getting those things now because it's inevitable. All of these brands have taken a hit. To, to different extents, I think the brands that sell online might have taken a bit of a more minor hit than others. 
The prices, by the way, shown for the Louis Vuitton items, they are in dollars. I have had some of you before asking if I can put a conversion rate in from dollars or from euros or from pounds to whatever. I don't do that. Uh, reason being, I'd be here all day. But also, the main reason is that different territories have their own prices a lot of the time. And it's not always a case of you take the price in pounds sterling and then convert it to dollars and that's what your price is in the States. I tried to buy a, um, you know my Louis Vuitton Alma BB bag? Years back in 2015, I tried to buy that and it was sold out in the UK for ages. And I actually phoned up the LV store in New York, spoke to someone there, and the reason why I didn't buy it is irrespective of the currency conversion, the actual base price of it in dollars was like a good two or 300 pounds than in London. And it had nothing to do with the currency in summary, I've already said my piece on what I think about this. I do think it's the wrong timing. Let me know what you think below. Is this putting you off buying from these brands? Why do you think they're doing it? Do you think it's to kind of clean up the customer base? Do you think it's to recoup costs? Do you think it's all of that? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I wanna thank all of you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.